the six components I actually desoldered and I measured them once it's out one by one and I find that this three four actually this four is all right and this one and this one is actually got a short Welcome from Fractal Tips. Today I've got another graphic card. Come with no box and is it GTX 760 2GB version reference card. What's wrong with this card? Not exactly sure, but Fractal Tips will be find out and hopefully will be repaired for you. Stay tuned because this is what we'll be seeing. How to repair GTX 760. Okay. What we have? We got a really nice looking card. It looks nice and clean. Fun is spinning. Uh, we got also the warranty stickers, but on this one, I don't think it will be possible open without damaging this sticker, but I will try to find maybe it is. We'll see. If not, if not, never mind. Main point is fix this card if it's broken, but maybe it's fully working. We're just going to check now and hopefully, hopefully we'll see what is wrong. Okay, now we're gonna testing this car. Plug into my rig, test rig because I never use my personal rig, which is just over there. You can you know that all the time. First of all, I always plug in this two six pin connector. Here you go, we're gonna plug in and push the car inside. Uh, when I test the car, I always unplug first the hard drive to see if it's all working correctly first to avoid any boot problem with the with the card and not make any corruption on the system because not always nice to reinstalling the system, but yeah, card is in. Switch on the power supply and I'll try testing this card now. Okay, looks like uh, we have a short on this one. Hopefully we can find it where is the short. Because this is my power supply actually make the sound when it's Beeping is mean there is a power, power short. Uh, what I always do if the power short, I try first unplug one cable and try again. No, it's not this one. I try and plug the second one. Now I'll try switch on without the both cable. As you can see, the PC is tar, but there is there is actually right. Please power down and connect the PCI Express power cables for these graphic cards. Okay, we will try connect one. Switch off. It looks like this card is really have a short somewhere. Hopefully we can find it and fix it now we try plug in one and switch on again okay I think we have a short on this one but we'll confirm that we unplug this one just take it error off from the car board and now we will try the second part hopefully hopefully it will be works this time yeah we get a short on this side with one power cable we will see if it's working or not some life and also right this power down and connect the PC Express power cable for these graphic cards. Yeah, because we get the short somewhere, we will be open this card and have a look 
not the fault I really like it but hopefully we can repair And see how dry is this thermal paste. It's not really nice to see that dry thermal paste, but there is probably probably short somewhere on one of these. And hopefully I can find it. Always clean first before you do any job. Because you only need to replace this anyway. And it's actually old and dry. As you can see, it's actually so dry. What I will be try, I'll be try dissolve this first for six or maybe one it depends how it looks underneath because I have feeling is when I measure this is there is a short on everywhere but hopefully I got one which is not beeping but once touched the ground and I can see there is a short Actually, everywhere I try to remove this to see what happened. Okay, we have a two off, and I'll try to check it's still short there. I'm sure it's still there, I will try to continue moving. Another two. And hopefully we can find them. We have all six out. And hopefully it's the correct side. Hopefully I'm not going to make a mistake. No, I think short is not there. Yeah, I think we remove the short. Yeah, we are removed the short. I'll double confirm that with the test discard. You don't actually see any problem here with any of these, but we'll check if it's really short. It's not there anymore. To be sure. Just need to wait. Card is cooling down. And go. Okay, we are on the windows and okay, it looks like the card actually is working but doesn't recognize it at all. And well, I think we'll try and install the driver. Okay, we have an installed driver which is actually recognized as GTX 760, which is correct. We'll try now. Close all this. Check GPU Z, and as you can see, card is actually now after install the driver recognized properly. Everything looks all right, even without that six component where it's been short. And I will now try the quick, quick test, burn test. I will be recording card. Some boom or whatever I want to see that in life okay and um, go as 
we can see the card is actually working just doesn't have enough power because uh, you can see the score this score actually working just only 570 74 which is not correct and we got only 16 or 15 fps on a full hd on this test but yeah i think i think the card can survive if i solder back some of the component we'll see we'll see okay i'll switch off this pc and try solder back these components component i actually desolder and i measure them once it's out one by one and i find that this three four actually this four is all right and this one and this one is actually got a short uh this one is got a short between first uh, i show you between this three and grand on the middle last one is all right and this one is actually got a short between all four it's mean i will try solder back just this four and just keep out this two which is just from each line each just support one hopefully card will be working without this two. take off the cooler again it's just like temporary fit uh, as you can see the card is actually working with the six component but now i will be try solder them back uh, hopefully this four is definitely good I mean, I will try solder back this this far, and even I will put this two over there. But I will be actually not solder them properly to be sure it doesn't make a short anymore. But card will be looks like is actually all components there. Just use a little more flux. Plugs hit and try solder all back. The last two, I will be try solder them like without connecting. Okay, hopefully, the short is not there. I will be check that now. Short is not there, and we have all components back. As you can see, I finished the soldering. Card looks again as normal, but you can see this one I lifted up a little bit, and this one also. That means it looks like it's there, but it's actually this two is doesn't have a connection, and short is gone. I'm not exactly sure which two is, but hopefully this another four, because it's not on the row. It's like sister of this one, but this one is there and it's connecting and also this one is there and it's connecting should be enough power for powering card to get a full strength. I see the cards working with some three of them and never got a problem at all. Only you can anymore overclock this card. Sometimes help you would little bit downgrade the card, but yeah. Main point we remove the short and card hopefully it will be fully working again just need way to cool down this car clean it from the flux put it together final test and hopefully all good all fine Done. okay our car is calmed down and now we'll we'll clean the flux and car Okay, we got a nice clear card and hopefully we can do a full test of this card and to clean this as well. We'll do a full test to see if it's all good. Okay, now check again the short eh, it's not there cool first of all we re-plug one of these cool for the VCC uh, no. yeah. we apply the 
Você não vai... Não forgot clean the old one. I don't need this anymore because test quick test has been done. Don't forget to use the cross pattern, especially if you got a card like like this one, which one has got a this special plate. It's actually something like spring. Okay, card is reassembled and now we can do some testing how it works with this component back. Straight away plug in the PCI Express connector. Power and okay, three, two, one, go. Here you go. No sparking, card working, we got a picture, all looks good. Now try the tech power, GPU Z. As you can see the card is, looks everything fine. We got the GTX 60, GPU number, technology, release date, BIOS number, everything is there, everything looks alright. And now GPU temperature is 36, fan speed 29, GPU load is 3%, but yeah. well, now check the full mark, it's my favorite, favorite GPU test, and as you can see before it's working just only 70%, we'll see what's happened now with the couple of components back, if it's still the same, it's still fine, but yeah. look at that guy. 35, 34, 17 is back, 25, 20, 37. Yeah, I think we are repair this car successful. This jump ups and downs can be because I think Windows doing updates on the background because I'm not using this PC and all the time I just switch on, he still want to continue with the updates, but yeah, look at that. 33, 4, 34 and core clock 8.8.8 and temperature it's 74 which is looks amazing well done well done well done we fixed the short problem on this car and I'm quite happy I'm really really happy. You can see the it's been 99% GPU load and temperature is going 75, not more. Core clock 915, usually I don't know, it's 915. It's been not that actually GPU core clock full speed, but this card we can use this card again, which is actually main point for this repair. We can use this car power consumption has been fine and yeah looks looks amazing and finally I got a one gig more RAM on this my test rig which is three gigs together and I will test for you which you free on this car and actually not just for you it's for me as well because I like to see if it's actually working or not better with the three gigs RAM as you can see this which you free now is running on this card and 3 gigs RAM is still not enough for running this cam smoothly but I think it's better that with 2 gig RAM okay we got it we done it we fix it what we fix we fix short on this GPU you see actually how I done and you can done too if you have proper equipment like heat gun 
which I go use. I use a proper good heat gun. I will put a link on the description for some heat gun I recommend to you. And also I put a, I, hopefully I find a heat gun I actually use because it's quite expensive, but maybe it will be good for you. I will make a decision buy one, just go there and have a look for what I use and also some flags in there. I will put some link on the description if you wanna check that. We got a lovely card ready to use on some builds or hopefully you like this repair and if yes click like and please subscribe, stay subscribed because more content like this is will be coming soon and if you got any request or question just write me a comment below or send me email and if I help help you repair your card and you want to say thanks to me go there on my page and click on the donation button to send me some lovely thanks from you okay guys see you bye and stay tuned on frog tech tips bye